I'm going to show you how to combine multiple Excel files into one single table. So let's say that you have similar data set for different months. So I have orders for Jan, Feb, March, April, and I want to combine them, but these are different Excel files, but I want to combine them into one single table. If you're interested, stick around. So I've now loaded all the Excel files that I have into my hub. That is by dropping it into the connections. So I have orders uh, for January, February, March, April, and, um, and I've loaded them here. Next step is to load them into the script editor. So I'm going to start a new section here, um, give it a name. So let's say orders. And then I'm going to go to my data files here that I've loaded and click on orders. This will automatically select all the columns. I want all of them. So, so now it's going to load the data from orders that's this is my January data set uh, into a table called orders and if I want to add the February data set as well if I want to combine it so this is February so I insert script what you need to do is use a function called concatenate so we say concatenate and table name. So you want to concatenate it into the orders table. So so now when you load it, instead of ClickSense making a connection between order ID and order ID, instead it's going to be added. So all the values would be added under the same column names. So now we have two, we can concatenate our third month we're again concatenating it into the same table so we have March here and my final month that's April So now we have all the months, the different Excel files for each of the months, and we want to combine them into one single table. And there you go. So if you look at the model viewer, instead of multiple tables, you'll see that all of them are combined into one single table. So uh, this is how you combine it. Uh, I hope this helps you and stick around for more ClickSense, data visualization and BI software videos. Please click on like and subscribe for more. Peace.